Hey guys, Kev here, and I have a couple of sliders to talk about. So these came in from G1.com. Shout out to G1.com. Uh, they send me stuff every month to check out, which I appreciate. Uh, and you can also go check out their website. I will put the link down below. I also have a discount code, LeftyEDC, I believe, and that should save you 10% off on most items. So definitely check the link in the description. And I'll show you the packaging for these. And I will kind of spoil this a little bit. I actually like both of these quite a bit. I have a couple of downsides for each, but they're both very solid pieces, so I'm, I'm glad they sent them along. Uh, this slider right here is the uh, G1 G1, and that's all that I know about it because uh, nothing, nothing in here is ever in English, uh, which I get. They're an international dealer, so I guess it doesn't matter, but it was literally in a uh, plastic uh, thing that I cut. And then inside of this tube right here, we'll pull up the website and try to find these, or I'll see if I have the uh, information from the uh, contact I have. And then in here is a little baggie with some balls, which I'll show you where those go for this guy right here. Um, both of these feel great, by the way. Uh, and there's the information on this one. I was joking about the G1, G1. That's just what's on all of them. Um, here you have a little bit of something. DJG EDC, I think. And then I guess I have this backwards. It's all in uh, Mandarin. So you have that. So let's pull it up real quick. I'll see if I can get it from my chat with the lady from G1 that I talked to. Um, we're planning to send some popular styles of products in the future. Okay. Um, okay, so this time she did not give me the names. Just sent me tracking information. And that was in September. Um, so let's go to G1. I'll show you the website, which I, I do like. Um, so here's the website, g1.com, and I, I believe it's just slash lefty EDC. We can check that real quick. Um, do, 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 10%. Where's my G1? Where are my peeps at? G1, lefty10, my apologies. So lefty10 is the code, and it's g1.com slash discount slash lefty10. So just so you guys know, um, and we will go here and we will search slider and I'm sure these will come up. There's a whole lot of different products on their website, which is cool. They carry a ton of stuff. Um, I believe they're like one of the only international dealers or at least licensed ones. So this one looks familiar. That is the uh, other slider of this sort of nature where it has like a tuning fork in it. Um, we checked that one out. I have a video on that. There's some cool stuff here I've never even seen. Um, that looks cool. Q mechanical slider. Oh, it's a pre-order. Cool. Um, bada bing, bada boom. Man, there's a lot of sliders, huh? Let me know if you see them. Of course, you know, you can't really tell me, but. Oh, that's interesting. Mechanical cashew? That's great. Love it. Ooh, that looks good. The Rui. I like the little pill shaped ones. Not a big fan of the rings. Um, that looks like a lighter. Okay, here we go. We got this one. This is the Roar. So it's $65.90, and I believe this is titanium. Okay, tuning for it. I was going to say, um, there is a stainless steel version for $65.90. There's a titanium version for $85.90. How do I know this is titanium? Well, I feel like there's two reasons I know. If you look at the finish on it, you'll see that this one is a little bit brighter, and the titanium is a little bit darker. Um, stainless steel is also magnetic. which this is not, unless you're near the magnets. And then, surely based off of weight, I can tell. Um, this feels like a titanium slider. That's why I prefer 
uh, titanium. One of the reasons. It's lighter weight. Once you get something in steel this size, it just weighs it down. Um, so this is the Roar, but you can get it in both versions if you want to save 20 bucks. Uh, I think it's a great price for what you're getting here. 85 bucks. Titanium. Excellent slider. Um, the the uh, magnetic tension is really good. You get good clicks. So it's not a weak slider. Not weak at all. Um, now, the downside for me on this one is the tuning fork, actually. As much as I enjoy loud clicks, I don't think this needed the tuning fork action because it's almost like a ear piercing shrill and it most certainly will annoy everybody else. But if, even if you're by yourself, it's a little bit jaunting to be sitting there doing that over and over. It's not terrible. It's just the other one was much louder in a bad way. This one's a little bit more subdued. But um, it's not like a big deal. I like it a lot. Um, it's got good slide. There's no catch at all. It's, it's very smooth. Incredibly smooth. Um, you get one, two, three, four clicks up. One, two, three, four. Four down, obviously. And then two up um, or down, whatever, which other way. So you can do a little bit of quick motions or a full drag. You can go full drag. Um, it's a very fun fidget. I've enjoyed it quite a bit. I'd love to see them make a sort of small version of this. Like, uh, not, not mini, mini. I hate when they go too small. But like a CP3 size of this would be fantastic. Uh, I think that would be excellent. Now, there are uh, balls in here. So, I found that out. I actually didn't know. Um, I thought it was some kind of track thing. <clears throat> um... I found it out because my daughter loves fidgets. Um, she's four. Uh, she comes in my office, and of course, I have knives everywhere, which is why I have a like a lock on my office door with a code. Um, but she'll come in while I'm in here. Don't worry, it's safe. Um, and she'll want to know where the fidgets are. And I have a drawer where I keep all the fidgets that I still have, and she'll just grab whatever. And I don't care if it's a two hundred dollar fidget or if it's a $10. I don't care. She can take it. Um, so she took this one uh, a couple weeks ago. And um, my parents were here for dinner, I guess. And she must have given it to my dad. And all of a sudden, I hear... What's going on here? Hold on. Ugh. Is it backwards? or? I know it just, eh, just needs to slot in. Yeah, it was backwards. Um, she gave it to my dad for whatever reason. And I guess he opened it and went like this. And somehow the balls came out. And he was like, oh, I heard all this stuff hit the ground. And then he was like picking stuff off the ground when I walked back into her room. And he said, uh, stuff came out of this. She handed it to me and stuff came out of it. And I was like, oh, okay. My dad doesn't know anything about fidgets. So I don't expect him to. So I found all these little ceramic balls on the floor. And I was like, ah, oh, crap. So I looked at the box. And there's obviously extras in there, which is cool. But notice, they also have Teflon. So they give you extras, which is great. Thank you for that. Um, because I couldn't find them all, obviously. I ended up vacuuming some up later. But they give you enough extras uh, so that you have, it looks like, two extra Teflons once this is filled out. And maybe there were maybe there were two extra ceramic ones too. I'm not sure. Um, I put what I found back in here. But if you give me the option between ceramic and Teflon, I'll take those little Teflon balls because it's so smooth. Um, there's just something really crisp about those little white Teflon balls. Um, 
The ceramic ones are good, but it definitely felt better once I switched it. So I'm glad it happened because it made me realize that it had those and then I switched them. Um, but I don't, I still don't know how he did it. I've tried to, because I thought there was no way to accidentally pop those out. I mean, what angle would you have to, like, that's always my fear is if you're walking with a fidget and you push down and it pops up, but they have a, they have a locking mechanism for the uh, plates and it works excellently. So I don't know how he did it. I've never had a ball come out. I didn't even know there were any in there until that happened. Um, Cause I usually just open these and start playing with them uh, when they come in. That's what I do. And then I film a video a month later or whatever and tell you what I think. Uh, I don't go that deep into it because I'm really not going that deep into it. Um, and I don't think most people are, but could be wrong. So anyway, it's very secure. Like, I don't know how he did it with just one hand. He somehow did it. Like, he must have been like, oh, they're stacked up and then went like this. <laughs> I'm guessing that's what happened, but um, that wouldn't happen to you on accident, you know. Um, so anyway, you just take a ball. They are very small, so that's one issue for me because I have, you know, I have large glove size hands, not huge, but um, the people who make these in China have very small hands, mostly, and that's not racist, that's just kind of a fact. Um, I work with Chinese manufacturers all the time, and the pictures they send me of stuff in their hand, and it'll look enormous, and I'm like, whoa, and then I get it, and it's like tiny. Um, anyway it's easier for them to put these balls in. And some people have small hands, obviously. For me, or if you have larger hands, it can be a pain. Trying to pick these off of here and put them in was insane or off the ground. I have to like wedge them under a nail that I don't have. Um, so anyway, that's this one. I like it a lot. Um, I do wish there was a way to turn off the tuning fork. Um, it says tuning fork on the side. I think that's just to explain that that's what it is. I don't think there's a way to change it out that would be cool if they offered a, a plate in the middle without the fork part that just had good clicks i would like that a lot um, but they don't so that is the roar now let's talk about this guy once we uh find it oh that looks cool too cybercore i gotta write some of these down um do 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 Look at that thing. Rum. That's a slider. There it is. The Travel. This is the Oasios, Oasios Point Studio Travel. Okay. And it is $189.90. And you're going to say, whoa, that one was $85 in titanium. How is this one $185.90? Well, I'll tell you why. Because this is crystallized titanium. Now, it's a little harder to tell because they put these milling lines in it, and it almost seems like they tumbled it after, but I don't know. This also could be zirconium. Uh, actually, it is zirconium. I didn't look too hard until uh, this video, but that is zirconium because it has uh, sort of this oil slick finish on it. Now, the issue that I have with this one is it was really good and smooth, and then it kind of started binding up. Um, now it feels like I finally got through that. Good. Um, I try to clean it. It would possibly be, uh, useful to put a little bit of, um, uh, oil or something on here. The problem is your fingers are constantly touching it. So you're just going to get, what happens to me is even without putting oil on it or anything, my fingers get all, uh, black from the sliding, you know, it's zirconium on zirconium it's going to brush off a little bit of material. Um, but that's probably what ends up making it loosen up a little bit once that material wears in some. So like right now, it's probably going to feel a little bit tight. Yeah, it's not bad. It's got an interesting feel to it because of the uh, pattern on here. And I've literally just sat at my desk and played with this for a month. Um, I, again, haven't gotten too deep into it. Didn't take them apart or anything like that. I used to do all that stuff. I just don't have the time. And honestly, it's not 
all that useful. You just end up, I end up in this like uh, OCD, you know, thing where I got to get everything perfectly and then I got to put it all back. And then like, what is the point? You know, unless I have to do something, it should come out of the box and function and be good. And guess what? Both of these do that very well. Um, I haven't had a two piece slider like this in a long time. Um, some of my favorite ones are, um, the Modus works is an absolutely wonderful slider. I forget the name of it now. Um, I had one, it was like $400. I bought a Zerk one. It's a little outrageous. They were custom made sliders, but oh, the wrapped, uh, absolutely fantastic. Can't say anything bad about it. But that is one where, you know, you end up taking it apart, putting in these trays, tweaking the magnets, and it's like, ugh. You know, I just want to get it and fidget with it and be done, you know? Um, at least that's kind of where I'm at now. Um, but that's a great one. Um, another fantastic one was from, uh, wow, absolutely brain farting right now. The, the uh, Russian company, um, they give you the chips. Oh my God, how do I, how can I not remember this? I have the chip, I think I've kept the chips because I. Ivan, Compaform, jeez, Kev. Um, Compaform, sorry, had the Allure V3, I believe was the last one I had that was absolutely wonderful. Uh, one of my favorite sliders of all time, but again, $300, 300 plus dollars. You know, that's a lot of money to spend on something like that. Uh, Magnus makes a bunch. I've never been a huge fan of any of those designs. Just the way I like to fidget. It's just, you know, um, not my style. And then you can get very affordable ones like 3DC printings. I do have a code. It's in the description. 20% uh, off at 3DC printings. Um, they're like 10 bucks, guys. 15 bucks for their stuff. Um, absolutely great, too. So you can, on all budgets, you can make it happen. Anyway, this is zirconium and crystallized titanium, and it's $189. Uh, that's pretty good, in my opinion. Um, so I think we have this one here, and maybe it is just titanium, which would, that would explain some of the, I just don't think it is. But they're just saying ice crystal tie. And what's this one? Ah, titanium blue. No, well, this see, that's crystallized tie. It, it just is. And then zirconium center. Moku tie. Man, there's some sexy looking ones, aren't there? This looks the most like what I have, right? So maybe it is just titanium. Just, I don't think it's just titanium, but I could be wrong. There's no description. Um, it's a floating slider. There's six clicks when pushed up and down. It also has a clear sha-sha sound. Yeah, it does. That's when the magnets, I think, move around. Uh, when we go out of town, we always carry our suitcase with us, and this slider is designed to the appearance of a suitcase. Ah, okay. Uh, so weight, zirconium 83, stainless steel 89, superconductor 85. So how come they don't have the weight for uh, titanium? That's interesting. Because I think it's actually um, zirconium. I think it's two pieces, maybe? Yeah, it is, right? This piece sucks into that piece, and the magnets are in the middle. And I don't know. To my eye, this is zirconium because it has that um, oil slick. And you can see it. I mean, you can clearly see this is zirconium. I, I can't argue it. So maybe it's a version they didn't sell or something. Anyway, it's wonderful. Uh, you know, it really brought me back to the days of playing with those Allure V3s from Compaform um, and the Wrapped, where I just love this move. You go up to the top, you kick it around the side, kick it down, and then boom, boom, boom. Um, it's just a fun move. You can kick it up and down like this. You know, I don't do fancy moves. I'm not an expert on this, but it's just so much fun. Uh, and it, it it's just nice. Um, it's not the snappiest I've ever had. Like, I wouldn't mind it if when I did this, it had a little bit better, like, clack, 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 you know. Um, but it is pretty strong. I mean, the magnets are obviously holding on there pretty well. So it took... 
took me a little while to lose one there. Um, but that is the downside to these floating sliders. Um, and even with the stronger magnet ones, you, you, you kick it off sometimes. You just do. Um, so walking around with it can be dangerous unless you just don't care about, you know, dinging it up. Um, but absolutely a blast. This is uh, probably my favorite out of the two. I do like this one, but the tuning fork can be a little annoying. Um, the only thing annoying on this one is that sometimes it did feel like it was binding up a little bit. But as you can tell, clean it with some alcohol and, um, you know, wipe it down every once in a while and you'll be fine. Now your fingers will, you know, darken from playing with it um, because it's obviously wearing as we play with it. So it could get smoother and smoother. It will actually get smoother and smoother as I use it and eventually uh, be probably perfectly smooth and maybe you won't get that coloring anymore. Um, one thing I did want to notice or note is when I would feel it get sort of tight, I thought maybe these screws were coming loose, but these screws have held perfectly. So they must have Loctited these in place and they did a great job. I got to see, I got to say, um, over the last few months, uh, I have had zero QC issues that I can think of with these fidgets that they've sent me. Um, you used to have a magnet pop out here, a, you know, uh, screw loosen and scratch something or fall out or whatever. We haven't had the, those issues lately, which is nice. I, I think that's a good sign that uh, the community of uh, fidget fidgeters has really been on these companies uh, about QC. And, you know, it can be such a pain because all these companies are overseas. Um, but it seems like they're doing much better and better with um, keeping these magnets uh, glued in properly and uh, screws in place with Loctite. The other thing I've noticed is we are seeing, like these are glued in, but we are seeing a lot more fidgets that are either A, mechanical, or B, have some kind of plate system like this where the magnets are not glued because that was the biggest uh, culprit was the glue coming loose. Um, and either they've uh, just figured out a better glue or maybe it's because I haven't handled, you know, 50 new things in the last couple of months. I've only handled, you know, five or six. Maybe that's part of it. But anyway, there's my honest thoughts on these two products, the Roar and the Travel. Sorry, the Travel and the Roar. Uh, I think both of them are great. I think, uh, do they have any affordable ones? So $189, let us just see. Are there any that are, oh, $99. <clears throat> that's in peak, though. Uh, which would probably, oh, that would probably be the best one, guys. Because the magnets are going to feel stronger. That's probably the best one right there. Um, believe it or not, Ultim and stuff can be better. Uh, 189 Are these all sold out, by the way? No, the one I have isn't. I can tell you this one's great. Um, travel, titanium, weight. They have so many options. I mean, it's really impressive. Some of these are sold out. That's a good one. I love a splatter. Titanium. So that's all titanium if it's splattered like that. See, that says zirconia middle layer, which is, I mean, this has to be a zirconia middle layer. You can see it. It just says iced, ice crystal tie blue. Maybe they just didn't have enough room to fit zirconium middle, you know, because, I mean, anybody watching this that knows, you can confirm for me. Uh, I've never seen an oil slick titanium. I've only seen oil slick zirconium. And you can just tell by the edges. Look at that glass look on the edges. It looks like polished zirconium. Um, 105. This one's available. Uh, it's polished stainless steel. Oh, yeah. Look. And zirconium middle layer. So they all have that zirconium middle layer. That's not a bad deal, guys. 105. And you still get these plates in the middle. And then you get steel on the outside. It's going to be a little heavier, but still. Yeah, what's this one? Superconductor. It's only 300 bucks. Superconductor and Zerg. That's crazy. All right, you get the point. Um, check it out. Use the code. <clears throat> use the code LEFTY10 for 10% off your order at <clears throat> g1.com. Sorry, I'm still getting over something. And uh, let me know what you think. I love you guys. Shout out to G1. I hope you guys have an absolutely fantastic day, and I will catch you later.